Last weekend, Perth Lord Mayor Lisa Scafidi easily won another term in office. And while she may have won in a canter, the growing pains Perth is about to experience as major projects like the City Link and Waterfront development get underway, I mean, Lisa Scafidi will be under pressure from inconvenienced residents and ratepayers. The Lord Mayor joined me earlier. Mayor Lisa Scafidi, thanks very much for your time. It's a pleasure. Now, you said you didn't want a victory lap if you got another term, that you wanted to get things done. What are the big priorities for you this term? Yes, very clearly it was not a victory lap. I'm in the middle of a very clear vision to activate our city ahead of the waterfront works starting in 2012, which we know will be a very large undertaking for our city, um, a project or an infrastructure renewal precinct that we very much need and want, but won't come to us easily. There'll be a lot of ugliness and work before the waterfront is able to be visited and fully completed. Now, now a big part of your vision has been about trying to make this a livable, vibrant city to bring people into the city yes. to live and yes. to uh, and to work. It's going to be difficult to attract people here in the next couple of years because it's really going to be a construction site, isn't it? Look, I think that our residential population in the city of Perth is still growing very strongly. We are, although by percentage terms, the fastest growing LGA in Australia or in the top few if the ABS statistics hold. And we have a lot more people choosing inner city living because of the comfort that brings with getting to work easily. Yes, they'll have to work around the precincts while they're under construction, but I think people should just hold on to the fact that they are working in the city while the city is evolving. And if you were to look at it from the perspective of the teenagers who are at school now, they'll be the greater beneficiaries, they'll be entering the workforce as it is nearing completion and that is just the life cycle of a city so I want people to actually understand that enjoy it cities should not be looked at in two five or even decade lots they need to be looked at through much longer window frames and we just need to accept that this is good for us it's growth it's progress and it's what we need but the city's really going to be sandwiched isn't it between these two very big projects at one end of the city we'll have riverside waterfront development at the other end we got the city link project already underway <laughs> How is the city going to cope? How is it still going to work through that period? Because it's not a month or a week, it's, no. it's going to be two or three years, isn't That's it? That's right. Look, I think the uh, LINK project is slightly different. It is quite delineated and sectioned off from the operational side of the city, although there will be uh, egress and uh, exit points that will be problematic at times. The very important role for the City of Perth with the major stakeholders involved in this project a renewal is very clear communication, I call it managing the message and being on the front foot with being uh, positive about the information but I think very proactive and timely with how that information is dispersed to the general public. But for people down in that end of the city it, it's going to be unbearable sometimes yeah, isn't it? I mean I agree. there's going to be night works, there's going to be disruption to yes, traffic. Yes. What message are you going to be selling to them to, to help them overcome that inconvenience? Well you know there will be certain locations where uh, it will be very very difficult for them. We have been telling them that. Some people don't want to hear it and they've certainly let me know that. But uh, I can't be anything other than truthful and tell them that this is the shorter term issue for the longer term gain. If people can't cope, well then they might need to rethink their address for a couple of years. Hang on to their investment though because it won't uh, lose money, it will only appreciate over time. Now the, the Riverside development, East Perth, another very big and important mm. residential area yes. in the CBD. Um, again, what message can you give them? Uh, what, move out if you don't like it? Well, you know, I don't think that that is really uh, the idea or the type of person we want living in the city. You would think that people who have chosen inner city living actually accept that there is a certain level of noise that comes with inner city living. I know myself when I moved into East Perth, uh, it took me a while to adjust, but now I sleep through quite a lot. Just ask my husband. The reality is it's an adjustment. People choose to make it because the offset is greater lifestyle, closer to amenities, facilities, entertainment options. So again, you can't tell people how to live. You can only encourage them to be more accepting, more tolerant and to live through the short term disruption for the longer term gain. Now, neither of these are really city projects, but you're having to wear the, uh, I, I guess, the 
reaction of the public because yes. it's your constituency. We're very aware of that. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Does it feel a bit unfair? <laughs> no, we've spoken at length about this and we've been working with a number of stakeholders on preparing for this time ahead. And we know that people will say, oh, the city of Perth. We don't care, uh, or well, we don't mind if they blame us, but we will be working closely with all of the stakeholders to ensure that we are, as I said, proactive and timely with the communication and as clear with it as we can. We're embracing all of the stakeholders, hopefully the media to come on board and help people understand the process ahead. Now businesses in the city have spent uh, much of the last couple of years dealing mm. with the inconvenience associated with the redevelopment yes. there, the, the works leading up to Chogham. Do you think that they're really going to accept having another few years of this? Well, look, what I would say is that the City of Perth is very clear in trying to work with them. We put a lot of effort into marketing activities and uh, other types of programs to encourage more visitation to the city, school holiday programs, uh, Christmas festivity programs, that sort of thing. There has been a global drop in retailing. I don't think you could just blame the St George's Terrace and Wellington Street works, although the Wellington Street works were disappointingly longer than we hoped them to be. But you can't blame all of that on the downturn of retailing. I think what we need to do is... But it is something that they have to factor in because it's hitting their bottom line, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. They have to factor that in. But then every business has to look at ways it can rebrand, give value for money and work harder, not smart, or smarter, not harder, I should say, to improve their lot. But we are available to work with them. We're very conscious of that. And obviously, we don't want to lose any businesses. We want to see increased in the number of business and increase in those number of businesses operating successfully in the city and building on the great diversity and attractions that we have. Now we're a week away from Chogham, is the city ready? The city is very ready, it's literally a countdown now, the T's are crossed, the I's are dotted. We're very excited and I believe that Perth should embrace this opportunity. It is the uh, first type of international business meeting that we've had of such an international standard and I believe Perth will do very well and people will will look at Perth, always referring generally to Sydney and Melbourne, and they'll say, hey, why didn't we know about Perth before today? I believe it's a great branding opportunity for Perth on the international stage, all going well. We should reap the benefit of this Chogham event for years to come. Mayor Scafidi, thanks for your time. You're welcome.